Are you looking to file your income tax return for other types of income apart from employment, e.g. business, farming, rental, if the rent was not declared under the monthly rental income regime, interest whose withholding tax is not final, commission, and other incomes whose tax paid or deducted at source is not final. The taxpayer will be required to have prepared a schedule of their income chargeable to tax and allowable expenses incurred wholly to generate this taxable income. Those with audited accounts can use them to file the return. For individuals, it is not mandatory to have your accounts or books audited by an external auditor. We've made this process seamless for you. Go to the iTax portal on itax.kra.go.ke. Enter your PIN. Click Continue. Enter Password and the security stamp, which is the answer to the arithmetic, and log in. Once you log in, update the professional details and go to Returns menu, File Return. Select the tax obligation, income tax resident or income tax non-resident and click Next. Click to download the income tax return form in Excel using the provided link. Enter the PIN, type of return, return period from and return period to and select Yes to the question of do you have any income other than employment income? The return will open other relevant sheets relating to the declaration of the income. From your schedule of books of accounts or audited accounts, you will capture the relevant details of income and expenses in the profit and loss account sheet. Capture the gross turnover and other types of income where applicable in the relevant fields in the profit and loss account sheet. If you capture your source of income as rental income, then it is a must to declare all your tenants' details on the basic information sheet and the corresponding rent they paid to you must be equal to the gross rent as declared in the profit and loss account. The different types of expenses have been provided in the return under major classes of expenses, operational, administrative, and financial, which you can fill accordingly as per your schedule, books of account, or audited accounts. Only capture what is relevant and leave the other fields blank and also capture under the correct column for the specified source of income. If one of your operating expenses is rent expenses for premises, then it is a must to declare the landlord or landlords in the basic information sheet A and respective rent which was paid to the landlord or landlords. PIN of the landlord is not mandatory. Please note the section at the bottom of the sheet for other income and other expenses. Here, you will be required to describe the other income or expense which could not have been described and captured in the upper part of the profit and loss account. Once you capture income or expense in this section, remember to capture zeros on the same row for the other fields relating to other sources of income. Go to Sheet C, Balance Sheet, and capture the assets and liabilities as per your schedule or audited accounts. Please remember the balance sheet equation holds where assets equals liabilities plus capital. Fill the details in sheet D, E where applicable. If you paid installment tax during the year, you will declare the payment sleep details, payment registration number, date of deposit, and amount. Fill the other relevant sheets where applicable. Go to the income computation sheet and add back any disallowable expenses claimed in the profit and loss account and also deduct any allowable expenses where applicable. 
Go to the last sheet T-Tax computation and capture the details of pension contribution under SR number 11.1 .1, if any, personal relief under SR number 12.6. Confirm that all relevant details of incomes, expenses, credits, and payments have been captured and the correct tax due or refund calculated under SR number 14. Once you have confirmed the tax computation details are matching as per your records and the correct tax due or refund calculated, then validate and generate the upload file. In case of a tax refund, you will be required to fill the bank details on the basic information sheet A before you validate the file. Enter the return period from if filing for the first time, otherwise the return period will pre-populate. Upload form by choosing the zip or upload file which was generated and saved under your documents, agree to the terms and conditions and submit. Download the returns receipt. If there is any tax due to pay, go to the payments menu and select payment registration, select tax head as income tax and tax subhead as income tax resident or non-resident, whichever is applicable. Select payment type as self-assessment and the tax period and click add. Select mode of payment and submit. Download the payment slip and go make the payment at a partner bank of your choice amongst the ones listed on the payment slip. You may also pay through mobile money as per the instructions on the payment slip on M Payment. For further inquiries, contact us on 020-499-9999 or cell 0711-099-999 or email us through call center at kra. .go.ke. You can also access our self-service menu by calling us and pressing 1 for password reset, 2 for pin retrieval or 3 to unlock your account. Remember to file your returns before 30th June deadline. Submit them now to avoid the last minute rush. KRA Tulipe ushuru tujitegemee.